and apparently are one of biggest Pomphobetel species. Okay, you can have it. This is not a Pomphobetel, but a Formicoptus. In last video, I asked you which two tarantulas you want to see me rehouse next. And by no surprise, these two got the most volts out of all, because they are one of the prettiest terrestrial tarantulas that I have in one of worst enclosures that I have. And especially this one. I wouldn't even argue that this is the prettiest terrestrial tarantula that I have. Yeah, she's definitely a showstopper and today they will get enclosures that they deserve. But before we start, I just want to talk a little bit about last video because the topic was quite controversial as expected and I think I explained everything in the first video when I introduced the tarantula into the enclosure but reading through the comments I see that it wasn't quite clear for everyone so uh, let me just re-explain re what my idea was when I did that. Mainly I want to address the most common point in the comments which is that it is a known fact that all arborea tarantulas will often go down on the substrate, on the substrate level and that every Every experienced keeper should know that but yeah I know that that's the fact but in enclosures that are like 30 or 40 centimeters tall of course that we will call enclosure like that an arboreal but in reality that is really short when you compare it with the entire tree so it is really no wonder that tarantula will wander down to the bottom of it but that enclosure is more than a meter and a half tall and I don't think that anyone is keeping their arboreal tarantulas in a setup like that so that was the idea of that experiment I want to see if the tarantula in enclosure of that height if that will be enough for tarantula to never reach the bottom and for two months that was the case I would always observe her on top I recorded multiple time lapses to see if Donna will wander down and she never did in those two months whenever I was recording whenever I was observing she was always on top in that 20-30 centimeters range she would never go below that that was my idea behind the whole experiment nothing more nothing less and also I never said that there is a guaranteed chance that it will succeed and that I'm willing to take the risk so there is that no matter if you agree or disagree it's all right we are all humans and have our own thoughts in our heads and they won't always be the same that's just the nature of the of humanity or whatever anyhow now back to these girls or actually not exactly girls even though I will refer to them as girls but I never managed to sex this Pamphobetos mascara because she would always destroy her mold and regardless I'm hopeful so I will be calling her she these tarantulas comes from come from Ecuador and apparently are one of biggest Pamphobetos species okay you can have it so I really need her to be a girl because I want to have one of these beauties in the dark then as you can see they are mainly orange but the coolest thing about them if I can show you from this angle although it seems like it is no longer visible but when she was smaller like two or three months ago she had a really really awesome pattern on her abdomen as you can see from this recording and I'm really sad that now as she's bigger it seems like it is no longer visible yeah the abdomen is just black with long orange hairs hmm such a shame but she got a little bit of pattern on her legs you see the inner part is dark and I think when it comes to the rest of the leg the underside is also darker but cannot really see it well now hmm. anyhow she will get a nice planted enclosure now the other girl that is a confirmed female it is actually not a Pamphobetos as I said in last video I accidentally said that it is a Pamphobetos and I realized that when I was reading comments and there was a lot of saying that I should rehouse both Pamphobetos in a single video and I was like which both Pamphobetos I didn't show two Pamphobetos and then I was like aha uh -huh, I said Pamphobetos this is not a Pamphobetos but a Formicoptus Formicoptus species Dominican purple so obviously I mean if the name is correct it comes from the Dominican Republic right and the appearance is just gorgeous I mean look at this what more I need to tell you not only that it is a pinkish coloration there is also a deep purple on the legs you see especially here and it appears that it is more prominent when you are not looking directly at it but not only that it got those coloration but it also appears that colors are like super shiny right she looks metallic purple and I love it I love it so much and I can't wait to see her in a planted enclosure oh yeah and I actually have another of these species another Formicoptus species Dominican purple but it looks somewhat different so I will show you now I'm not sure if males look different even before they mature I mean that would explain it or seller made a mistake look at this 
This one should also be a Formicoptus species Dominican purple and even though there is some purplish hue on the legs, the carapace looks completely, completely different. I mean different coloration. So I'm not sure and already we have a escape attempt. Hey, hey, no, no. Mm. Uh, come on, seriously? Is this how, how you are going to behave? Come on, go, go back, go back, go back, go, go back. Oh, I need two hands, I need a cup, apparently. And I don't have a catch cup here, beautiful, so I will need to use my hands. Oh, never mind. She went behind the table and my battery is dying, so this is just getting better and better. I really didn't expect that the situation will escalate so quick, so quickly. Are those legs or what? That is not a tarantula. Where is my tarantula? Huh. What the hell? I was convinced that those are the legs, but definitely not. Okay, we have a red alert situation now. I cannot believe that she was able to disappear so quickly. There's no way, she must be on the table. Am I losing my mind? She is having the time of her life now. And I am definitely not invited. This is just ridiculous. I never had a situation like this where a, a grown tarantula just strolled away of the table and literally disappeared. I know that I was super slow with the reaction, but, but that is because things like this never happen. Ah, you won't believe where she is. Yeah, she pulled a 180 on me and went up while I was searching for her underneath the table. Okay, I'm now so relieved, so relieved because this was ridiculous. Nice to know that I pulled all of this out for no reason. Come here, you magician. Come on, let's go, let's go. She's now going down. That will probably be easier for me. And there we go. Here she is. Uh, come on, go in your enclosure and stay there. Should have just used my hands from the start, but I wasn't sure how, how moody she was and if she was in a biting mood, you know. I now completely forgot what I said and what I didn't say, but these two should be the same species while clearly they look different. So it was either a seller mistake or juvenile males look different from juvenile females. Maybe some of you are wiser, so let me know in the comments. Now let's start with the build. I prepared the enclosures for them. And we are actually going to reuse the old ones, but we will redo the backgrounds. As you see, I stripped the silicone from the styrofoam, so I can now simply apply the glue for tiles. Uh, that is first step, then we will let it dry, cover it with silicone, and then get the dry substrate on it. It is a lengthy process because every step requires curing, I mean drying, but for you it will just be time jumps with bam 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 bam. It will be super quick. Now you see the styrofoam, and now you see it covered. Here is second enclosure. And now it's covered, but you see I got a little bit carried away and I stuck some rocks to the back, so we will see how that will work out. Anyhow, now we wait, so another time jump, and somehow magically the backgrounds are finished, complete. So look at them. This one definitely looks sweet, but the upper part was a pain in the butt to get done properly, while the other one was done in like five minutes. Although you can definitely tell, and this one was definitely worth the time. And even on top, I can actually put some substrate up here and maybe plant plants on the background directly. So that will potentially be cool if it works out. I will definitely try it. So without much fuss, I will proceed. Of course, drainage layer, because both enclosures will be planted. And in these situations, the drainage is a good thing to have. But you see, I only use a thin layer and that is more than enough. So now this mesh to separate it from the substrate. Although some say it's not really necessary, but I'm really used to using it, so it is kind of hard to break the habit. Let me figure out where the cork bark will go. For this enclosure I have this thick cork bark. Hmm, maybe I'll put on the other side. This background is also pretty thick, so there is not a lot of room to work with. Yeah, it is pretty basic now, but I will add two different plants, so that should leave the enclosure once they grow a bit, of course. And the plants that I will use are from the junglearium. I planted this cutting here a while ago, and it got a lot of roots, as you can see already. Yeah, nice root system, you see? 
that should go beautifully inside and it should grow without any problem because I planted it with magical jungularium soil and look at this there is something tiny inside some tiny millipede awesome thing so let's cover this and that should be it on this side well for the other side i also have one jungalarium plant and that one is planted over here and sorry for the bad footage because yeah the lights are of course off it is night and i don't want to turn on the lights to disturb the animals they have a consistent day and night cycle you see this is the plant also one really really pretty plant and this one is a bit sturdier, so if Tarantula decides to destroy this one, it shouldn't be a problem because this one should prevail. <laughs> so leaf litter, springtails, and send for the texture, and we are done! Can I add leaf litter at once? <laughs> no, not really. It needs to be spread around better, and also partially covered, you know, to make it look more natural, of course. A bit of sand here, like this, and also here, on top. Yeah, perfect! So we just need springtails to keep the enclosure clean. Let's go guys, work your magic. <laughs> Ready for the tarantula? For the pomphobetes, of course. Oof, hard with one hand, sorry. Let's see how this will go. Hopefully simple and easy. Although this species is not known for their chillness, you know. So wish me luck. Of course, first I will start with a couple of pokes. Yes, but I'm using scissors, so she immediately knows that this is not a prey, but something that she should get away from. And so far so good. I would say pretty chill. Now it would be easiest if I can just... Yes, if I can just guide her. Yes, no, 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 not that way. No, don't throw hairs. No, chill with the hairs, please. Preserve your beautiful booty. You look prettier with all the hairs on. How can I get... No, up, up, just... Maybe if I go like under her with... Oh, perfect! I'll just put her like this and now it should be a breeze. Just come on, stop with the hairs! Just... No, don't... I'm just gently touching it, no need to stress over it. Oh, there we go, huh? You like it, girl? Is this a nice spot for you? Much better than your old enclosure, although you don't have your very own rock, so maybe I can add this. Hmm, what do you say? Maybe I should incorporate it. Stop with the hairs, come on, you can just move away, you know. Put it against the side, like that. <laughs> She's crazy with hairs. Yeah, now it's even better. Isn't that right? Uh, we can proceed to the Formicoptus, the prettier one. <laughs> and the enclosure will definitely look better because of the rocks and the entire layout of how the plant should interact with it. If the plant will manage to survive on top, of course. That is not guaranteed. I actually don't have a ton of these uh, bigger cork barks, so I'm utilizing two to create, you see, like one. <laughs> it should work the same, right? You see, this should be it. And also on top, you can see I added a magical jungalarium soil, so that should improve the chances of plants surviving. And I will get it from the top, so I won't record with this camera because no point. You could barely see this on the bottom that is illuminated a bit by this light, but on top, no way. So I'm just going to quickly grab it. Not a problem if you didn't see it, because even I didn't see it. I was just randomly pulling it. Thankfully, I don't have anything a venomous or it can bite me or something <laughs> so i don't really mind sticking my hand into the unknown i took maybe a bit too much but that shouldn't be a problem because the plants that are underneath should help with the humidity and also if they die off they will just provide the food for the plants on top so we just need a little bit of leaf litter that sweet sweet sand springy bodies and we can grab the tarantula the most exciting part, of course, and <laughs> let's see how she is excited to do this. Same tactic, whoa, and a bit more intense reaction, I must admit. It's not really a material to touch with your hands. No, 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 wait, wait. Beep, 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 beep. Maybe I can just lift you with this. No, 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 oh, come on. Yes, we can work with that. I would say this is pretty good. 
The tarantula is inside, so it is a success, but as expected, my hands are starting to be a bit itchy, and that is the result of Parfabetio's hairs. I guess I will just need to endure it. Now we can actually put them side by side, to maybe have a nice thumbnail, I don't know. Although a close-up should do much better, right? Especially with a beautiful tarantula like this one. Maybe with my hand in the back. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, you can go and check out your new enclosure. A bit better, yes. Perfect. Perfect. I think this calls for one Instagram picture. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what is the funny thing now? With this plant on top of the background, you can no longer see the rocks very well. I mean, you can see this one, but the rest one are no longer visible. Which is a bit shame, but with tarantula like this one, it doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, I think that we can call it a day, huh? I hope that I said everything that I wanted to say, but if not, eh, I will say it in the next video. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel more, there's a Patreon page and also a web shop where you can get merch and also acrylic enclosures like this, you see? And they are available only in Europe, but I made a collaboration with Tarantula Creeps so you can get similar type enclosures, but in a bit better quality. <laughs> Links are in the description. So, see you again really, really soon. Bye!